Right guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, put a SNES emulator onto your PS3. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a couple of bo these things up in the bottom here. Look. All right, so you're going to need to open my documents, put in a removable flash drive, and an internet sort of search engine or whatever. You need Google Chrome uses as my um, internet loader and a search engine anyway, so I've got that. So you can download a couple of apps for that, um, and you're going to need a zip compression file application as well. That Express Zip, and maybe you could use Swiss Knife to format um, like big hard drives and stuff. But we're just going to use the Windows application for formatting flash drives. Okay, so um, basically what we're going to do first is we're going to go to um, Removable flash disk, and then we're going to go back to my computer, and then I like the disk. Right click, then go to format, and it's a file system selection. It's already on for file 32, but you can scroll down and. See which one you want, but it's FAT FAT32. It's on FAT32, and that's what you want for the PlayStation to read it, because it reads it in increments of four gig, right? So that's only the PlayStation can read that. Is that's all they can read, right? So you go down to Quick Format, click that, press Start. It tells you it's got to erase everything on there. Yeah, that's fine. It's empty anyway, so it's OK. And it's done. Quick as you like. OK, that's that done. Close that down. Right, OK. So then we go. Um, double click on that and then minimize. So double click on the flash drive and minimize so it comes down again. So then go to your internet browser thingy and you're going to type in PS3 hacks. Okay? And that's ps3hacks.com. That's in the window there, yeah? Okay? And then you're going to go to downloads and then the thing will come up and say all downloads. And then you click on all downloads in red and then this comes up. And then we scroll down to, uh, there it is, PS3 emulators, there. And the one you want is this one here, SNES 9X, okay? So click on that. This will come up, and then scroll down to the download button, click on that. It should come in the bottom here, there it is, bottom left. It downloads, and then we click on it once, and then Express Zip application comes up. Okay, so Express Zip, that's what you have to download and put on your computer. Okay, and these two come up in the window, right? So you've got your file on the left and then the archive on the right. Okay, so then highlight one at the top, click it, go to Edit, select all, highlight oh, both of them, go up to the top there, it says Extract. Click on that, and then you're going to want to place a new folder in there. So this folder line here, we're going to delete out a couple of words quickly. I just want to do it while I'm doing this, holding the camera. I'm putting SNES EMU. Okay. Uh, tell me the file doesn't exist, but it says you want to make it. Oh, that's come up. There you go. Right, so I'll highlight that. There. See, SNES EMU. Extract here, and then extract again at the bottom, and it's done it. Sent it across, right? So we don't need this anymore. So we close this off. At the top there, close. It goes back to that. We don't need this anymore, so we will close that off as well. And then we've got our documents and flash drive at the bottom. So we click at the documents, go to SNES EMU, double click, double click on it again, SNES, and then these two here, right? So left button on the mouse, grab it down and bring it down and just flash it over the top of the flash disk thing and then put it in the middle of the screen and then drop it in and it should go at the top there. We go back to that folder, this one here, again and then in the one we've already done and then that one with a little box. Grab left, uh, sorry, yeah, left button, drag it down, bring it over that, bring it into the middle of the screen, drop it in, okay? Then both of them appear there, okay, so now they're in the flash disk, alright? So, what you want to do now is close all that down, so close that, go to this one, and close that one as well, so then your 
screensaver comes back up. Mine is the backup manager logo, right? And then what you do is you go to your little icon in the bottom right, bring it up, and I say remove flash drive safely. You see that? Remove flash drive safely. Yes. And then, yeah, that's done. Okay, so once you uh, obviously get your, well, you have to have a jailbreak dongle there, and here's the flash drive that we formatted and put the SNES EMU onto in the PlayStation USB socket. And then what you do is you go down to, or up to install package files, press triangle, that comes up, press X on that, and then basically that will appear. And then you've loaded it onto your PlayStation.